So now in this video, we're going to look at one of the problems with wiring a PNP bipolar junction transistor backwards. And what I mean is that normally we want the collector more negative than the emitter. That is how it is designed to be used. But if you reverse them, the chemistry is still PNP and so it will still work pretty much like it normally does. So you may not even notice you have it backwards. And there is problems though. And in this one we're going to look at a really big problem. And so we have up here a PMP transistor wired the right way. So it's wired like this. The emitter is more positive and the collector side of the transistor is more negative. We are going to use a pull up resistor 10 kilo ohms to hold the voltage to the positive rail which should help keep the transistor off and uh, you need a lower voltage at the base than the emitter for it to start conducting and so now we have this other circuit which is wired backwards so now the emitter will be more negative than the collector and the base but still it's a PNP type transistor so it still functions pretty similar I have 5 volts across here right now and they're both off we'll look at that coming up but in any case a big reason why I'm making this video is sometimes it's hard to read what the data sheet is telling you the pin layout is and so this means that the transistor I will uh, just pluck this one out quick it's facing you like this so you got to be aware of that when you read it it's saying the pins are pointing at you so usually if you see these little squares they mean pins and uh, they will give you what they are somewhere else and then this one's really easy to read that's why I usually draw it like that but you might see it like this and all it is saying really is that if you hold the transistor like that and then flip it like this that's the pin layout so one two three it, emitter base collector and any bipolar junction transistor I've come across that starts with 2N whether it's NPN or PNP the emitter is the left pin and uh, the base is the middle pin and the collector is the right pin so I'm going to put it in the opposite direction of this one again and this one the flat sides facing to the left and so I will put the flat side to the right and uh, plug that back in so as I said before there's power to these but they are set to be off if I move this over I'll turn the light down to the negative rail now we have a lower voltage at the base than the emitter so the transistor conducts and uh, another thing I'll show you one reason why I'm holding up the voltage let's uh, get these so the resistors are not in the board at all now I am actually false triggering this and you notice the one that's correctly wired is getting a lot brighter than the one that is not correctly wired so that may be one way to test that the gain goes down when you put in the collector emitter backwards so now a couple more things before we start adjusting the voltage because as we can see here I can put this one to the negative rail just like I did with the other one earlier and the LED comes on let's see if one is brighter than the other also these LEDs got different use so one might be a little more burnt out than the other but they actually look like they're about the exact same brightness so right there I can't tell which one is backwards just by looking at the LED so we are going to put them back now so that they are set to pull this is called a pull up resistor because it raises the voltage to the base of the transistor which keeps it off and then usually there's a switch somewhere else and a lower value resistor going to the negative side of the power supply so you close that switch and that signal overwhelms the positive one coming and it turns on so that's commonly used for circuits I showed you earlier if I touch this when it's floating over there it false triggers it so in any case also this is the PNP schematic the arrow is pointing in so NPN the arrow is not pointing in and it's usually pointing well it's always pointing to the negative rail when it is properly wired up 
but usually it's pointing out this way towards the negative rail if it's NPN. So even though the pins have the same name and are in the same spot, the polarities are opposite because the chemistry is opposite. So let's get to what all of this really was uh, meant to lead us to. So we will measure here. So we got five volts there. And so I commonly use five volts so I can easily put in a transistor backwards and not realize it. So I did that with an NPN transistor as I mentioned earlier and I was dealing with higher voltage than I was even providing to the circuit and so the transistor didn't work right. But you can see here this one when I did the same test with the 2N3904 uh, the NPN type that basically has the same properties as these. It took a little more than 12 volts before the LED started glowing and it was pretty close to 13 volts before it was glowing this good so it's uh, doing even worse than the NPN but you can see the one that's wired backwards is lighting up now which it should not be because the base is connected with a pull up resistor to the positive rail so that's one reason why even though it's P type material on both sides of the N type material there's different doping and stuff in different size of the area so it does have different properties you can't just throw them into circuits backwards the circuit may work perfectly fine as far as you can tell and it may not work at all because it is backwards like the circuit I made earlier I didn't make a video of that it was just a problem I had I wasted like an hour or two trying to figure out what was wrong with the circuit when all it was was a backwards transistor so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video and